Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to today's Double Boxy Charm unboxing slash get ready with me slash product testing slash chit chat whatever I feel like video. I have got my two boxy charms and with this one being kind of baby normal size, I'm gonna guess this is just the base box. So let's see what we have got inside. I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like I have missed one of the choice selections recently. Like I said, I could be misremembering, but I honestly don't know. Also, apologies of me being hot. That's just, hi, welcome to my life. And also, my foundation shade is incorrect. I know. Anywho, let's see what's in this boxy charm. First off, it looks like we got a daily body scrubber, an exfoliator for the whole body. Cool. I can definitely go ahead and use that, especially with the winter here. Get the dry skin off. Ooh, from Iconic London, the Dewy Glow Highlight Illuminator. What do we got? What do we got? Something that will collect all of the fingerprints to start. Great. And then, oh, I was not expecting a cream palette. Um, this is not something I would typically use or go for, but uh, apparently someone in my life is texting me saying, hey, maybe give it a shot. Okay, we can try new things. Uh, it looks like your classic blush highlight bronze, but uh, I don't know about this color scheme. The yellow batch is my foundation, for sure, Simpson shade, but uh, yeah, we, you know, we can play, we can have some fun. That is what makeup is for in the first place anyways, at least I find it fun to play with. Let's see what else. We've got a liquid eyeshadow from Misho? Misha, Misho, Misho. I know there's Misha, that's why I was like, did they rebrand or something, but this is Misho me show. Ugh. Let's see what this eyeshadow looks like. Ooh, pretty. It looks like a rose with some gold and maybe a bit of bronze laced through. Very shimmery, very shiny. Definitely something that I would wear on my eyes, so that's exciting. We have also got this Evo Skin Lip Serum, Hemp and Peppermint. I do like peppermint and just minty things in general for my lips. So, uh, this is great. Speak up. It makes me think that this is actually tinted, though. Maybe this kind of a dusty, mauve -y nude. It's very light color, but we shall see. Ah, okay, no. I, th I think I did get this choice item. Um, this Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. I have tried this way back when, and I don't remember loving it. However, I mean, Benefit gets the best promotion shots, right? Like, look at that. That is an immense difference. So I want to try it again. I just, I need to know. It's been so long. Now, big box, big boy. Let's see what's inside of here. Ba -ba -da -ba, da -da 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 -da. All right. Treat your heart out is apparently the, is that, I think so. This came in both of them, but usually it's got the list of products on the back. This just says epic news is coming. Something epic is in the works for Boxy Charm, apparently. That's okay. Biggest beauty news of the year, I guess we shall see. Okay, so we have got the Perfect Pout Liquid Lipstick from Ace Beauty. This is a large and in charge box for just a lip. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> make a statement, why don't ya? I mean, that looks like a nice nude. Um, I just, I am so taken aback by this packaging. It is so extra. <laughs> It reminds me of like, wasn't it Dior or something that came out with the lipsticks? Weren't they actually like Christmas ornaments or something? Okay, they were like a hundred dollars. Um, okay, okay, okay. We've got the Beauty Bakery, the Butter Hydra Silk Primer. I don't think I've ever tried it. Maybe there was like a blush and highlight palette that was pretty good, but I didn't end up keeping it just because I have so many. But other than that, I don't feel like I've ever kept or really super enjoyed anything from the Beauty Bakery, but their products are on point in terms of marketing and packaging and stuff. I mean, did I say this was the butter? Did I pronounce that good? And then it's got like the butter measurements on this, like seriously, the Beauty Bakery. So cute, so cute. 
I love their packaging and everything. Like I said, I wish I liked their products better. Their products, as far as I remember, they haven't ever been like bad. I just, they've never been anything enough to stay in my collection. But dang the packaging. It gets me. It gets me in my little baking soul every single time. This is a huge velvety body cream. It's unscented though. I mean, I suppose for some people that's a good thing. Kind to skin, vegan, all of that. I mean, I don't know why I went to smell it just to see if it's actually unscented. I don't know. I just, I like my lotions to be scented, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe my boyfriend can use this and he'll enjoy the unscentedness of it. I don't know. All right, and it looks like we've got like a few palettes here my goodness first off we have the Natasha Denona Jubilee eyeshadow palette let's go ahead and see what this looks like oh my god not something I would typically slash ever purchase or go for but I guess didn't I say makeup is fun push me out of my comfort zone why don't you um maybe Maybe. What other palettes did we get here? Um, the Secret Garden 3D Blush and Glow Palette from Eloise. Lovely little package here with the floral. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. This reminds me, I had some blushes from H&M that had this rose lifted 3D effect to it. I loved them way back in the day. So this is something I would definitely actually use. That's cute kind of campy. I like it. In fact, I like it a lot. Now, let's see what this big boy is. Ciate London Royal Edition 24-piece eyeshadow palette. Let's take a look at ya. You are huge. It's PETA approved. Okay. Also not something I would typically go for, but we've got a lot of stuff that I could definitely play with. We've got a lot of mattes and shimmers and metallics in here, so okay. And it actually kind of looks like it goes with the Natasha Denona palette in a sense. So we can, we can play around. I'll try to be brave. Yes, step outside my comfort zone. So there are my two boxy charms. Let's go ahead, get on with my life. I clearly already have makeup on. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a second with a fresh face and we can try out these products. Ready? Ding! All right, I feel like I need to adjust my camera a little bit. I just pumped up my yoga ball that I sit on and woo, it really heightened me. <laughs> In relation to my tripod, okay, okay. Let's see, I think, is that a little better? So, time to test the makeup. We've got a lot of stuff to be testing. We've got eyes, eyeshadow, mascara. We have got cheeks, blush, highlight, lips, primer. I think that was about it. So let's start with our primer. This is the Beauty Bakery, the Butter Hydra Silk Primer. Let's go ahead and get this out of its adorable packaging. I really do, I mean, listen, I already gushed to you guys about how much I love the Beauty Bakery packaging. Now let's see if we can actually find a product of theirs that I really mesh with or that my skin really meshes with. Oh my gosh, it even comes out with the tablespoon measurements on the actual product. It's not just the... Guys, I could gush about the packaging of this for forever. Okay, so this is supposed to be lightweight and hydrating. Extend the wear of makeup and give a smooth canvas to work on. So I'm going to use this with this L'Oreal True Match Foundation, the new formula that I just tested the other week. Or yeah, it should be in terms of when I post this video. Watch that if you want to see the review on this. But overall, at least at first, it looks a little dry on my skin. So I'm hoping that this will silk in things out and give it a smoother canvas to apply to. It comes in stick form. I don't know, have I ever used a stick primer? I don't know that I have, but uh, hey, I am not against trying new things. It's literally the whole premise of my channel, isn't it, at this point? I can't help it. So we've got the primer. I guess it doesn't really matter which side of my face I test this out on. I guess I'm gonna do it on this side because I'm right-handed. So let's go. Let's be a cat for a second. Little whiskers, draw it on my nose, and on my forehead. Was that a good amount? I don't know. 
but oh okay this is very silky for sure it feels very silicone-y it's got that very slippery feel to it i have also already washed and moisturized my skin for the day so it should be prepped and good to go for this now i do worry with my oily skin usually these primers don't work great for me at least not in terms of longevity of my makeup it just kind of slip slides around on top of these primers but who knows maybe this is the magic formula like I said I am willing to try I do think that it blurred my pores around you know where they're the most prominent I don't know if you can see that on camera but I do think it did that now I'm gonna go ahead and put on foundation and concealer so one moment see how that does I actually do think that that helped. I think the foundation looks a lot smoother on this side of my face, a lot more, not dewy, but just smoother, fresher. I think, you know, around my cheekbone and the temple of my forehead, that's where it looks the driest, the foundation on the not primed side, and it looks like it completely cured that on the primed side. So yay for that working, at least for now. Hopefully that continues to work throughout the day and holds it through the end of the night. Now we have our two cheek products to try. We've got the Cream Iconic London, which I believe I said when I unboxed it, out of my comfort zone, but hey, let's give it a try. Why the heck not? And I'm really excited about this blush palette. Seriously, it's so cute. It's so extra. I just, I love it. Okay. So I guess what I'm gonna test here is the highlight. Maybe we can do a little bit of bronzer. I've told you guys so many times, bronzer in general just really confuses me. I just don't think it looks good. Okay, that's that's my main thing. But most people love it. So let's see. Oh, that just, it just, I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, so we're supposed to, like, that's just, like, why I don't want, to, this is a mistake. Why am I doing this? This is a mistake. Let me look at it on my hand. It's pretty. I just, I, uh, I just truly don't want this on my face. That's, I think that's the main thing. Okay, so we're supposed to put it where the sun would hit us on the temple of our forehead. Yes. The outskirts kind of where our hairline is and maybe look this sort of thing looks good on camera don't get me wrong i think it's in real life that i don't like the way that it translates i mean you can see a difference at least in real life from side to side it's just it's just not my thing you guys that's all maybe i just need to get used to it okay cassie stop being a negative nancy just give it a try it's just makeup you can wash it off at the end of the day it's really not that big of a deal ah <sighs> Okay, I feel better after that pep talk already. Cool. Now for the highlight, let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. I mean, these do definitely blend out really nice and easy on the skin, so that's nice. I'm not having any problems there. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Really subtle. That's what these are. They end up translating really subtly on the skin and I typically do like that look. This almost might be a little too subtle for me on my cheeks as my voice raises higher and higher. Okay, no, I mean, it's, it's definitely there. And the blush I'm not gonna use because I'm using the blush palette. But ooh, that actually looks like it would be really pretty for a cream blush. Okay, all of the fingerprints already, but okay. Now let me powder my face. Now for the cheeks, let's just go for it. I'm going to go for this one down here that looks like it's a mix of orange and pink. Very highlighter, shiny looking, but I suppose let me... Oh, yeah. Okay, this might look so cheap on the skin. It really might, 
but uh, I'm here for it because it's reminding me, like I said, of that H&M blush. If any of you have been here long enough, I'm sure it was in a best and worst of beauty at some point, please let me know. Please let me know. I don't know when I got rid of that thing, but uh, as far as I know, I don't own it anymore, so. But I used to love it. Okay. It's just extra glowy on the skin, for sure. Like, I don't think this looks any sort of natural, but uh, I kind of love it. I don't know, these other ones, it just, it might be a bit powdery looking, but I'm still gonna, we're still gonna try it out. I just, I can't help myself. Look how blushy, look how glowy. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I went ahead and put on my brows. Now, I guess I can do setting spray at this point too. Okay, so we have got the two eyeshadow palettes. We have also got this liquid eyeshadow. Oh, that's right. It's this lovely rosy goldy bronze. Get you a little zoomed in for the eyes and you can see my very glowy cheeks as well. Oh, this looks so pretty. Definite like a one and done kind of a thing. I guess I'll prime one of my eyes so we can see if that acts as an eyeshadow primer. Just for funsies, just for the kicks and the giggles of it all. I will prime the same side that I had primed my face with just to make it easier to remember. All right, cool. So now we can go in with this guy. Let's see. I mean, it just, it looks so sparkly and lovely. It dries down really fast. It looks like it went on really patchy on the not primed side. That might just be because I put it on second and it had time to dry down. Hmm. As lovely as that is, I mean, that is some lovely, nice sparkle. I don't know. The quick dry down scares me. I'll try this on other days where I just wear it alone because I do. This is absolutely something I would want and done on my face, but I'm not actually too convinced of it right now. Now, the two eyeshadow palettes. We're likely going to cover this up, uh, but... Uh, the Natasha Denona and this massive Ciate London. I do, I just, I almost feel guilty using this Natasha Denona. Like, I feel like I should really just donate this. Like, we've got basically the same colors here. Do we see this? We've got that taupe color. We've got this blushy salmon pink color. We don't exactly have this yellow sea foam and dark royal blue black. I can't really tell. But, like, I just, I feel guilty using this, you guys. I really do. I think I'm just gonna donate it and then use this guy. I'm sorry, I hope you can forgive me. I just, I would rather not completely waste it. Please forgive me, please understand. Okay, so I will go in, I will use Royal Family down here in my crease so that I can at least use similar shades as that Natasha Denona palette. Go ahead and apply this. I don't know what kind of a look we're going for today, my friends. I wanna play up the glitter. I don't know, this princess shade in the corner is reminding me of that liquid glitter shadow. If not, it's like the exact same thing. So I think we'll be able to play that up. Cool. We love to see it. So let me go ahead and do this in my crease. I'll even try and bring in that yellow from the Natasha Denona palette. I will blend it out with Corgi and deepen it up with King. So basically we're just doing this little corner here. Okay, so there we go. I mean, this is looking like so much paired with the blush and the highlight and the bronze. It's just, I'm feeling a little clown-like, 
but we're gonna keep going why not why stop now so I'm gonna go ahead and do princess and throne here on my lid so we're gonna do princess on the inner half and then throne on the outer half Okay, I think the eyeshadow, or the, the this part of the eyeshadow that I just did, kind of tying in with the cheeks, and then to go with the, like I said, I, I want to kind of go in with that Natasha Denona palette, to or I want to play off of that to make it seem less wasteful that I'm not trying it. So I'm going to go ahead and play off of that dark blue-black, and I'm going to just smudge Jubilee along my lower lash line and then blend it out with Spectre here. I also should do an inner corner highlight. I'll probably do it with diamonds. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should. That might be a little too cool. Cool toned, but I don't know. Maybe I, I'm gonna do diamonds. Why not? Okay. First instinct. Let's go. So there we go. I also went ahead and lined my waterline with one of these pencils that I'd gotten in last month's BoxyCharm. It's a blue one and goes on really nicely just to play off of what I did on my lower lash line. So there's the eye look. Actually, I think it turned out nice. It turned out just fine. I would have maybe changed. I know my first instinct wasn't correct with the diamonds. I would have maybe done tiara instead for an inner corner highlight, but you know, it is what it is. Um, really nice, this palette. Everything went on really nice and smooth and pigmented and I really I have no complaints there so that's good now we can go ahead and try out the mascara like I said I hope I can get these kinds of results I am a little scared because my this my problematic eye has been problematic for like a month now I'm getting really freaking sick and tired of it that's for sure that's life though so let's go ahead we've got the magnet on the end you know very cutesy very benefit um, let me go ahead and curl my top lashes first though So there you go, there it is with two coats on the top lashes and one coat on the bottom. I can't talk and do mascara at the same time. Seriously, historically, I will stab my eye multiple times and it's just not pleasant for me. Uh, so the wand is kind of fat and the bristles are quite short. If I should, probably shouldn't use something that has text on it. There, let's not show off my... Oh, you guys, uh, there is the wand, so really kind of unassuming. I liked it, you know, since the bristles are short, it didn't stab me in the eye or anything, which was great. Um, I do not think I got the same results as the model on the box, but I do think I got some good results. Like, I think my lashes look a little bit lengthened, I think a little more volumized than anything, but just kind of defined and fluffy and... Yeah, I have no complaints actually. It was in the middle of wet and dry, maybe a little bit more on the dry side, but very pleasant to work with. So, cool. Now let's go into this <laughs> uh, liquid lipstick here from Ace Beauty, the Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick. I still can't get over this packaging and everything. So gaudy. It's in the shade Manifest. So let's go ahead and manifest good things. Hopefully this works well. Let's take a look, take a sniff. It doesn't smell like anything, I don't think. Nope, so unscented as far as I can tell right now. Let's see how it goes on to the lips. This is a very, it's a very long wand. My lips don't have anything on them right now. They're actually screaming out for moisture, so this is not the first thing I would have preferably reached for. Oh my God, this color though, so not for me. It does kind of match my eyeshadow. It's so just moosey and dry. It's kind of a 
terracotta-y orange brown on the lips. It looks like it's got a bit more, I don't know, it just looks a lot different in the tube, don't you think? Way more orange on my lips. I'm not the biggest fan. It feels like a whipped mousse kind of a formula. So I am able to like smudge my lips around, you know? That being said, it just, it looks dry on the lips. Like I said though, I guess it kind of matches my makeup or the rest of my makeup. I'm tempted to wipe it off and try out this lip serum just because this is so much more up my alley, but I'm gonna try and stick with it here and we'll see we'll see how this goes for the next couple of hours yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna wear the makeup for the rest of the day like said I might switch out the lip product after it's been on for a couple hours like I said but as of right now here everything is I mean it's just it's a lot for me especially these days and especially all together the cheeks are just so shiny I mean don't get me wrong I actually think they look quite cute and for like the summertime it would look really nice and fresh um, the eyeshadow, I think, on its own would have looked really pretty with a much less eye-assaulting cheek and lip and everything. I do like everything, the way it looks together, the mascara looks nice on my lashes, and the lipstick seems to be drying down. So we shall just see how everything does, and I will let you know about those results, I guess, throughout the day with the lip product. So I'll see you in just a second here. Yeah, all right, my friends, end of the night here. We are good to go, I hope. I I hope my face looks at least decent. I mean, not the end of the do. I hope that was an agreement and not a disagreement. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if I looked like garbage today. Just hanging out at my mom's place. But I am certainly curious about my face. I guess I'll start with the lips. I had dinner. Obvi I shouldn't say obviously, but I did have dinner tonight. And beforehand, it had been like five hours since I had first applied that liquid lipstick. And it was surprisingly comfy. I didn't have any problems with it drying out my lips. I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't hyper moisturizing, but it felt really comfy on the lips. Kind of a forget that it's there type of a thing. And after five hours or five and a half ish hours, you can see it on my lips still at the end of the night, or not at the end of the night, but before I ate dinner. You can see, as far as I could tell, it was full power before I had dinner. Dinner. We had sandwiches and chips and whatnot, and so definitely put my <laughs> lips to use if you know what I mean. Like some meals, it's all fork, and you don't really have to worry about your lipstick getting messed up. But something like a burger or a sandwich, you know, your lipstick is going to be touching food. I was really surprised though afterward. I still thought the lipstick looked really full power on my lips. It had faded and come off like around the inner portion of my lips, which you can see when I kind of purse my lips or whatever, you can see the pink of my lips in that area. But aside from that, the liquid lip was still hanging on. So I went ahead and tried the lip serum that came in the BoxyCharm this month. And I tried that on top of it because that's what I brought with me because I just, I thought that liquid lip wouldn't last at all. So that was my bad. I could have tried reapplying over it if I had brought it with me but I brought the lip serum instead. It is super pepperminty, that is for darn sure, and it definitely is tinted. I don't know that it gave too much of a tint to my lips. Uh, yeah, and squirting it out here on my hand, it looks super clear. You know, since I still had a lot of that liquid lip on, I'm pretty sure that's where most of the color on my lips came from, not from this actual lip serum. And it was a little liquidy for my taste at first, but eventually it sunk into my lips and it's kept them really nice and hydrated and comfy all night. But looking at my face now, let's see. Okay. So it looks like the lip color has completely come off, but in a good, graceful way. My face overall looks pretty good. My cheeks are definitely still a glow. I don't think my skin looks different from side to side. I've got the same amount of fading on each of my nostrils and the shine level is the same for both sides of my face. So honestly, I don't think the primer did anything for me in the long run, which is a bummer. The eyeshadow, my bad eye has been so bad tonight, you guys. It's been really watery and bothering me, so I've been touching it a lot. 
but even still it doesn't look like the eyeshadow creased and faded too badly all things considered i thought it was going to look a lot worse i had a lot of glitter on my fingers at the end of the night from touching my eye so much it looks like it hung in really really well on the primed side a lot of that has to do with the primer that i use it's just excellent but uh, the mascara looks like it hung in okay as well definitely a little bit of smudging and flaking for sure don't get me wrong but it looks like it kind of held its curl not completely but a little bit I, sorry i'm having a little mini anxiety attack all of a sudden i think life is gonna be fine we're all okay we're all gonna be fine. My makeup even looks completely fine for the most part. This is great. This is all good news. I don't remember what I was talking about though, so my apologies, but I think I got through everything. Um, these two boxy charms. While not the most thrilling, I don't think, I still potentially got some good products, you know? The mascara I might be able to work with, it might, sometimes it's just a problem with it on my lower lashes, so I might just be able to use it as a upper lash mascara, and the eyeshadow palette's really good, I'm really impressed with the longevity, the blendability, pigmentation, all that stuff. The blush palette, the cream palette, I might be able to get more use out of in the summer, just cause that's, I don't know, that's when I could see myself using it the most would be on my naked skin if I'm not wearing foundation and whatnot that day. The lip product, I'm not a big fan of matte liquid lips, but that's not, I, you know, will I keep it? Probably not. I'm trying to be better about clutter, okay? Let's be honest with ourselves. The lip serum, we'll see. I'll try using a couple more times. I just, something about the peppermint was a little off-putting earlier today, so we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind on that, but otherwise it was completely fine. So I do think overall there were definitely winners in this box or these boxes. As always though, I just hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and testing out makeup and whatnot here today. You can certainly let me know down below if you get Boxy Charm and what products you got this month. Did you enjoy them or not? Have you, whether you get Boxy Charm or not, have you tried out any? of these products and do you feel the same or differently as me just let me know all the things in the comments down below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful somehow by giving it a thumbs up down below i would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family here on my channel i'd love to have you here and as always i just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart there, but until next time, stay well until then. Bye!